So hey guys, what's up? It's Ray is back to the YouTube video and in today's video what we're going to be talking about is how to fix lag, stutters, FPS issues on Valorant. So if you have any kind of storing issues on Valorant, if you have FPS drop, this video will help you fix all of those issues. So yeah, be sure to watch till the end of the video for all the tweaks and steps so you have to follow all of them carefully. And also if you didn't know, I have a Discord server. So if you have any questions, if you have any problems, if you just want to ask something or if you want to join giveaways, what you can do is just join my Discord server. Link will be in the description and now yeah let's get straight into the video all right guys so we're back in the video now what do you have to do first of all is just go to the link in the description and download my valorant fps boost pack why you need this well there are software which will help you to get lo lower input delay and just higher fps overall so what do you have to do is just download it and then open it all right guys so once you're in the fps boost pack what do you have to do is just go over to the first folder and then go over to the other file again and then you'll see these four things now what do you have to do is just go over to the first one double press on it and press Yes, and then this will open so you might be wondering what this application does well it gives you lower input delay and just overall helps you to get uh, better fps and boost fps and so on so now what you have to do is just go to free memories lower than and then set it to half of your memory so for me i have 16 gigabytes of ram so i'm going to enter 8196 which is half of 16 gigabytes of ram if you have uh, 8 gigabytes of ram you can enter 4096 it, it doesn't really matter but yeah if you have 4 gigabytes uh, you can enter just 2048 and it can just do it like that so i'm gonna enter 8196 because i have 16 gigabytes of ram and what you have to do is check on both of these so once you check on both of those what you have to do is just go to wanted timer resolution and set it from 1.00 to 5 0 0.50 uh, remove the other two so you just have to make sure it's 0 0.50 then just press on enable custom timer resolution press on start press on per standby list and you can just uh, press on the minimize button and let it run in the background it will help you to get better performance overall so yeah once that's done what you have to do is just again go back to the Valorant FPS boost pack okay so now what you have to do is just go to the second folder so it's mem redux so as you can see we have a setup file so what you have to do is just double press on it press on yes and then you just have to install it so once it's installed what you have to do is just go to your desktop and then just open mem redux so open it so I'm gonna open it so yeah it's open now okay so once memory duct is open as you can see it shows you how much ram is being used how much ram is uh you know not used so what this software does it just lowers your memory usage so if you have high memory usage issues you can use this software before opening valorant so as you can see i have 16 percent usage right now so three or four gigabytes uh, three gigabytes actually not four but three gigabytes of my memory is being used so what you have to do is just press on the clean memory thing and then again press on the clean memory and you're gonna see it drop so it just dropped from 70 percent to 10 percent nine percent actually so it just gave me two gigabytes of extra free memory actually 1.5 but yeah it just gave me free more free memory so you can do this before opening your game and you won't have any memory issues this is for people who have low amount of ram like four gigabytes eight gigabytes so yeah once you do that you can close it and then go again back to the fps boost pack so just go back to the boost pack all right so what you have to do now is just go back again to the fps boost pack now go to msi tool and then right click on this click on run as administrator press on yes and then this will open so now listen to me carefully you only have to do this step if you have msi on the supported mode of your uh, graphics card so just find your graphics card and see if the supported mode uh, supports msi so if msi is supported what you have to do is just go to the msi thing and then press on that check mark it, it won't be check mark for you and also set it from undefined undefined to high once that's done press apply and you can close the application you'll be good to go all right guys so now i'm going to show you guys how to use all your cores in your processor so you'll get the best performance possible so what you have to do is just go into the search bar and then type in ms config so type it and then press on system configuration press on open and then you will see this now what you have to do is just go over to the boot and then go to advanced options once you are here, what you have to do is just press on number of processors, set it from 1 to the maximum amount. So for me, maximum amount is 12. So if it's 6 for you guys, if it's 8 for you guys, just set it to whatever the max number is. So once that's done, press OK, press apply, press OK, and then you should restart your computer and the setting will be applied. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you guys some Windows tweaks. So what you have to do is just go into your Windows button and then press on settings. 
Alright, so once you're here, what you have to do is just go to apps and then go to startup. So what you might be wondering, what is startup apps? Well, those are the apps which open once your PC is open. So actually many apps are open when you just open your PC. So not you might think there's nothing open, but there's actually many things opening and running in the background. So you can turn them off right here. Alright, so once you're here, what you have to do is just uncheck the unnecessary apps which you don't use and don't need. So all these unnecessary apps, I don't want them to start up when my when i just boot up my pc so yeah that's what you do so uncheck all of the ones that you don't need to start up all right so what you have to do now is go to privacy and then you'll see this now just scroll down till you see background apps and then once you're here just uh just turn off that apps run on the background so just turn it off or if you want some apps to run just turn it on but uncheck all of the apps that you don't need and then you can close this all right guys so now i'm going to be showing you guys how to get more gpu priority for valorant so when you're playing valorant what your gpu will give more priority to valorant than other apps so what do you have to do for that just go into the search button and type in graphics settings press enter and you'll be right here so now what you have to do is just press on browse and then go over where you install Valorant. So for me, it's in my E drive. So I'm gonna go there. Uh, it's set on Riot Games. So just go over wh where you install Valorant. I'm gonna go in the Riot Games folder. Go to Valorant. Go to Live, and you'll see Valorant the EXE. Just press on it. Press Add, and then you'll see this. Now what you have to do is just press on the options, and then set it to high performance. Press Save, and you'll be good to go. All right, guys. So for this trick, what you have to do is just go over where you install Valorant again. So for me, I installed it in my E drive. So I'm gonna go there just go over to the riot games folder go over to valorant go over to live shooter game binaries win64 and then scroll down till we see valorant win64 shipping now by click on it press properties go to compatibility press on disable full screen optimization go to change high dpi settings and press on override high dpi scaling behavior set it to application Press on OK, press on Apply, press on OK, and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, so now I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings on Valorant for the best FPS possible. So what you have to do is just go over to the video settings in Valorant, then go to graphics quality. So once you're here, what you have to do is make sure multi-threaded rendering is on if you have the option. And make sure all of these are on low. You have to make sure that VSync is off. Anti-aliasing set it to none. Set this to 1x and then set all of these two off and then you'll be good to go. Alright guys, so we're at the end of the video and now I'm going to show you guys the best graphics card settings for Valorant and any other game. So you can get these graphics card settings, apply it and then you'll get the best performance possible. So this is only for NVIDIA users. So you can skip this step and go to other step. But if you are an NVIDIA user, you can follow me along. So what do you have to do is just right click on your desktop go to nvidia control panel now wait for it to open it might take a second or two so yeah once it's open just go to Im adjust image settings and then then go over to use my preference and then set it from quality to performance once that's done again go to use the advanced 3d settings go to manage 3d settings and then just copy all these settings but i'm going to show you guys the main ones so power management mode set it to prefer maximum performance it might be on adaptive or uh, optimal power but set it to prefer maximum performance prefer refresh rate also set it to highest available and then scroll down until you see texture filtering quality set to high performance and then that's it that's all the settings that you need to do for the best performance possible on valorant so thanks for watching guys i hope you liked it i hope you you know enjoyed it and i hope it helped you so yeah if it did please subscribe and hit that like button and comment what you want next and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye